gentlemen, the Servin Cigar Show. And here's your host, Servin Coiro. Hello and welcome once again to the Servin Cigar Show. This is our second full episode and today what we'll be talking about is uh, we have a special guest and we're going to talk a little bit about some uh, a cigar cutter that we'll be doing a test on. We'll be doing it on a uh, lighter that we're going to test over a six month period. We're also going to talk a little bit about the history of cigars in this here neighborhood. And uh, what I'm going to do is talk about uh, the actual way to uh, light a cigar as well as how to fill a cigar lighter so that it works. And I know a lot of people out there that buy nice lighters and then after they fill it up once it doesn't ever work again. So what I'd like to do first is uh, once again introduce uh, Avery Gardner and I'll introduce uh, John Caprell. Avery, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Avery Gardner, and there's just a little bit about me to tell. My great, as I stated in the last program, my greatest achievement in life, I am a lifetime member of the Wise Ash Cigar Lounge. And Vin, Vin uh, and I, Sir Vin and I, have traveled the country. We've gone to cigar shows, we've gone to Foxwoods, we've gone to the great city of New York, and we've been to different cigar shows and sampled cigars all over the country. I've sampled cigars in Europe. But in addition to that, I am, how you say, a self-styled connoisseur of the, of the fine grapes and the fine wines. I find that judging a cigar is similar to judging a wine, and I find that wine and alcohol and different types of drinks go very well with cigars, and in fact we're going to be doing some of that and rating some of that a little bit later on also. Everything goes good with a good drink. <laughs> <laughs> or a good cigar. <laughs> or a good cigar. There you go. And uh, John Capwell. I am John Capwell, a lifetime resident here in the uh, Binghamton area. Um, my grandmother actually lived within a couple miles here where we are in Endicott, New York, and worked at a cigar factory for many years as a uh, 16 through almost, she said she was 22 years old, um, worked in cigar factories rolling the cigars. Um, that's not my, my only interest in cigars. I uh, enjoy what we're doing here and I enjoy it because we do a blind test on the cigars and I said it last time I will mention it again this time everybody should get a blind test on a cigar because you come in with a cigar and you've got an idea of what that cigar should be from something you've read about it when you have a blind test like we do in, the, in our our rating system here um, it really opens my it has opened my eyes to what the cigar really is all about and I think it, it's a, uh, a very good service that we're providing in that it helps the, the, the individual realize what else is out there. Good. And uh, when he says a blind taste test, he's not kidding because we actually put a bag over his head and just cut a little opening so that he thing. can smoke uh, because he keeps wanting to peek. <laughs> So what we're going to be doing today is just an introduction of the sponsors. Let me do that first. And uh, what we're going to be, we have the Black Bear Winery once again. We've got Cigar sponsored by Slippery Rock Cigars is a permanent sponsor of ours. We've got uh, Rhonda Schulte, which is one of our sponsors from Realty USA. We have Rich Anderson with Anderson Photography as one of our sponsors. And of course, we have the Cigar Rights of America. So these are all sponsors of ours, and let's not forget Cool 100, the other major sponsor. Now what I'd like to do is introduce our guest, uh, sp uh, our guest tonight is a special guest, and let me bring him right on in here. How you doing this evening? Right. Come take our right. guest chair. This here okay. is his honor, the mayor of Endicott, John Bertoni. Well, thank you for the invitation. Well, uh, John, why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, cigar smoking career, how you got involved in it, and then a little bit about uh, politics, if you will, and what you've done in the Endicott area, as well as some of your hobbies and so forth. Well, I think uh, cigar smoking really got to start with me uh, sort of as a, um, I wanted to quit cigarettes, let's put it that way. And cold, going cold turkey, as the saying goes. Uh, 
it became an alternative. And it really was enjoyable. And I had a favorite uncle, my Uncle Fred, who, who did smoke cigars. And, yeah. uh, you know, somebody like that who you take to uh, and say, gee, it was good for Uncle Fred. Maybe it's not bad for me. <laughs> and I actually, I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, uh, many of the, everything from social to uh, uh, exercise type of things like hunting, uh, it becomes the finale of the day, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, sort of a, a reward for maybe a good hunt or, uh, uh, you know, sitting down with friends uh, and having a good conversation, you know, and it seems like uh, for some reason cigar smokers always have some common denominator that, that uh, brings, they them can together. Yeah, brings them together, yeah. they can discuss things and, and, uh, and it, it just flows. So, I, I have I have four children and we always go for cigar walks. Okay. And hopefully it's something they'll remember forever. But I I always choose one of the children and say uh, who wants to go on a cigar walk and you know they they will uh, jump right to it. We take a walk on the end of a you know down an old dirt road and uh, we do it all the time. But so, his yeah. children only smoke flavored cigars. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the smokes that you've got here tonight um, is one of the ones that we actually rated. I'm going to just ask you what you think about it. It's actually a punch. Uh, it's called a, what, what's the bottom name of that thing? The uh, Rare Corojo. And uh, we'll have, save our ratings for just a couple of minutes, but what do you think about this cigar? This fits me perfect. <laughs> this is not a this is not an advertisement. But I'll tell you what I, I enjoy. It's a it's a, a compact c cigar. Um, I'm not a, a real big long cigar mm -hmm. smoker. I like a, a small compact one, and uh, uh, you know I, 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 I'm enjoying it very very much. Great. I'll tell you what I may mm -hmm. take some home tonight. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so why don't we get down to some of the information. Was there anything else that you wanted to uh, add in there that I, no, I mean, that's, uh, didn't cut you off, did I? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that, that was enough on the hunting. That's, uh, but, uh, you know, being mayor, uh, we're three square miles in Endicott. And, you know, I get along, out a lot. I might go to Price Chop 